hello everyone welcome to the laravel solution series today video is about how you can run your queries on the production server and uh, how this is going to throw an error so basically i'm talking about some problem and then i'm going to provide its solution so here i'm building my client project and this one is artisan call i'm executing this out so if you are not familiar with the artisan call so basically artisan call is used for run our uh, run our commands on the server without SSH. So if you want to run PHP artisan migrate, so then the query will be artisan call and then you need to type just migrate, right? If you want to execute this migrate fresh with seed, so then you don't need to type artis uh, PHP artisan. So every time when you are calling this artisan call, so you don't need to mention the PHP artisan or sale artisan, right? Here you need to call artisan call and then you need to add your query after the php artisan so migrate fresh and seed so basically i'm freshing my database and seeding data which is in the database seeder okay so now uh, i'm on this so slash test and i'm uh, seeding this out so here i'm running this out so if i go here and give it a refresh so it's going to throw us an error and it's also telling us that we are on the production and we enable this uh, we are not on the local and we enable this app debug true so it means that we are throwing the error our client will be face this issues but this is not our case uh, actual problem is this one undefined constant std in so when i face this issue i'm struggling about that where this constant is defined i did not define this anywhere so why it's throwing this out so basically it's throwing this due to this one right so if i go here and give it a refresh and yes it's throwing due to this one then i figure out that i'm running this uh, many times and it's uh, there is no issue on uh, in this command so then uh, i figure out that uh, let me go go to my env file and let me go to the env file i'm going to tell you that what i'm going to actually highlight so basically i turn on this app debug too and now it's displaying me the error okay after this then i change this app production mode to a local so let's save this one and uh, give it a refresh here so now it's going to work why uh, because it's uh, before in, it's in the production mode and it's uh, suggesting it's uh, throwing an error it's not properly catching this error but it's uh, preventing us to uh, we, we can't uh, fresh or refresh our database when we are on the production so it's a security issue and yes now it's executed successfully because we change our environment from production to local so basically laravel is not uh, catching the exact error it's not catching the exception but it's throwing the exception a weird exception maybe uh, when i face this issue i am not familiar with this one and i figure out and uh, that's why i'm shooting this video for you maybe you will face this issue or maybe you will face in the future that's why you can easily watch this video and fix your bug and um, by the way this is full series where i'm explaining all of the problem which i am facing this in my development phase and then i'm providing their solution so we can learn it from my this series that how you can uh, figure out these problem and how to fix them on the production or on the local so if you want to learn more about the laravel there are 25 plus playlists on this youtube channel and uh, I'm also uploading daily uh, daily Laravel tips and tricks and also uploading uh, daily videos at 11 a.m. according to the GMT file zone. So you can check them out at the daily basis and you can grow your Laravel skills on the daily basis. And if you have any query or you are facing any issues, so just uh, comment me on the any of the video and then I will tell you that uh, what's the error and maybe I will shoot a proper video on it so if you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and share your feedback that uh, how you find this video and uh, how you fix this issue so i'll meet you in the next one bye bye